Hi, okay, hi Virgos. So let's see what um what should you be careful about. Okay, so first we're gonna see what is the overall energy for today. And then we're gonna see what can I look forward to, and last but not least, we're gonna see what should I avoid. So you can watch for your sun, moon, and rising, and or Venus. Okay. Also, for those of you interested or doing a personal reading, you can visit my page on Wizio as time at with Leo, where I have many options of different readings you can purchase. Okay, what is the overall energy for my Virgos? What is the overall energy for my Virgos? What is the overall... Okay, way too many. Give me one card, please. Okay, thank you. So we have the world, fixed energy, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Um, then what can they look forward to? What can they look forward to? What can my Virgos look forward to? Okay, a little bit messy. What is going on? Oh, there's a messy energy here. I don't like that. So what can they look forward to? What can my Virgos look forward to? Okay, we have the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. So it could be something about four, four, maybe you're twi uh, 24, whoa. Okay, maybe you're 24, I meant to say 44, how the fuck did I come to? <laughs> So, uh, 44 to 24, I don't know. So, maybe it could be 24. There's something with 4. 4. Okay. I don't know. It can mean different things for different Virgos here. Um, maybe this is somebody you know for 4 years or 4 months. Maybe you're 4 years apart. Maybe you're both something 4. So, 24, 34, 44. Uh, yeah, 44. Um, what should they avoid? What should they avoid? Somebody could be 21 here as well. What should they avoid? But this, this is funny because I said 21 and I almost said 25. And I thought I said 24. I uh, know 45 I almost said. But. Okay, so and what should you avoid is the the Angman. Originally Pisces energy, but personally Libra energy to me. Okay, so what is the overall energy for you? I see you ending something, ending a cycle, a relationship, a connection um, with someone, with something. So maybe you're going to change your workplace. Maybe you're going to just end a relationship. Maybe mm, I'm going to what I heard to bring you. So for some, for a small person of you, maybe you're, there's going to be an ending in a relationship, but there's going to be a rebirth in your, the same relationship. So maybe you're going to feel like there's a relationship connection that is worth saving or working on. So this will resonate for a small portion of you. But for the most part, I say ending of something, a relationship, a connection, a workplace, um, could be as simple as a thought pattern or a bad habit but i see it's more something as a person or a career or a job here okay but we're resonating differently for each one of you so um here what can you look forward to i feel like you're going to manifest somebody that is on the same frequency on the same vibration as you okay so i feel like this is somebody could be especially if you're somebody that is attracted by the same gender as you i feel like whoever is going to give you an offer i feel like somebody's going to want more commitment with you so whatever that means to you specifically but i feel like somebody that sees a future with you that wants to build a solid foundation that wants something solid with you i feel like you're going to accept that offer because i see you just being at the same 
frequency and they came at the right time maybe before it wasn't the right timing but you feel like it is right now and this person feels as well you're the right person the right timing it's perfect right and i feel like once again i feel like um maybe this is somebody you had a break with or you haven't seen them in a while but i don't feel like it's a person past whoa what the hell is going on my legs are flaking what the hell is this never happened before this is so weird as i'm filming this oh my god but yeah i feel like this is somebody maybe you had a long break you haven't seen them in a while and it's maybe it maybe was the right person but the wrong timing but now it is i see just um yeah working things out i feel like a marriage and engagement maybe moving in um dating seeing each other whatever more commitment means to you maybe them traveling to see you maybe you traveling to see them okay then what should you avoid okay we had the same card for cancer aquarius Okay, so what you should avoid is somebody that is in denial, somebody that does not want to see something for what it is, that does not want to evolve, to grow. Okay, there's something, maybe there's a truth, you know the truth, you're trying to tell them something, hey, like, there's something you need to realize, there's something you need to see for what it is, but they do not want to hear anything about what you have to say or what somebody has to say, and the signs are there, the proofs are there, but they don't want to see, they don't want to hear anything about it, they want to stay stuck that's on them but i feel like you need to separate yourself from this person i'm not saying to maybe it's somebody especially but if it's somebody if it's somebody already in your life i'm not saying to necessarily cut this person out of your life but just separate yourself a little bit from this person and if it's somebody new and you know that this is somebody you're gonna have a hard time like having you know down to hard conversations with don't take them in do not take them in okay if it's a new person but if this person's already in your life, then you decide what it is that you want to do with them. But let's clarify this segment. Ooh, okay, that was really fast. Thank you. Knight of Swords. Okay, I feel like this is somebody new coming in. Could it be our sign of the bedroom, Knight Aquarius? And we have Libra two times. So it could be a Libra or somebody that has um, strong Libra placements. Um, Libra placements in their big tree. Or probably Venus as well. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you can have a um, Libra in your big three. Why not? Okay, so, yeah, I feel like this is com this could be somebody new coming in, okay? They know they're affirmative, that they want something with you, but this is somebody you're going to have a hard time seeing things. They hard, they're going to have a hard time seeing eye, things eye to eye, or you're going to have a hard time seeing things eye to eye with this person. And I feel like you're going to know that really soon, especially if it's somebody new. And if it's somebody it's already in your life, maybe you should separate yourself from this person, especially if they're draining your energy and they've, been doing that for a while for months for years it's not something that you do you should allow in your space in your energy but at the end of the day you are your own person it is your situation um i'm not in your shoes and you know what is bet what is best for you but um if it's somebody new don't take them in do not because mm -mm. I feel like you're just, just gonna drain you. You're gonna fight. You're gonna have to fight some battles alone. Like this person is like a wall. You won't. They won't hear anything. It's gonna be so hard for them to, for to make them try to understand your point of view or certain things, especially if they hurt your feelings or something like that. They will never understand, and they. Won't, I don't feel like they will try to either. But um. Yeah, that's it. That's what I see for you, Virgo. I hope this wasn't tough for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.